Hello and welcome to, Who Died Today, your daily update on notable passings and the lives that left a mark on the world. Each day, we honor and remember the individuals who have recently passed away, reflecting on their contributions, achievements, and the legacies they leave behind. Stay tuned as we bring you the stories of those we've lost, celebrating their impact and remembering their place in history. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest episodes. Luca Girato. Another new video with another new famous deaths, he died of a heart attack on September 11, 2024, while he was in Santa Marinella with his wife, at the age of 84. He was born December 23, 1939. He was an Italian journalist and TV presenter. He contributed to La Stampa and held the position of deputy director at TG1 until 1990. His first television appearance was in 1992 in In Full Print, a press review within the TG Uno night. In the autumn of 1993 he arrived at Domenica Inn, with Mara Vignier. In 1989 and 1995 he received the Sympathy Award and became one of the main presenters of Rai 1, one morning, until 2008, his colleagues were Livia Azaridi, Paola Saluzzi, Antonella Clerici. In 2004-2005 he hosted Italy You Go Together with Francesca Cellini and Guido Barlazzetti on Saturday afternoons on Rai 1. He also achieved widespread fame for the countless gaffes and slips of the tongue of which he was the protagonist, promptly taken up by Giolapa's band in the program Never Say Goal and by Striscia La Notizia, in a column called I'm Thinking About It, Juror and in a special episode entitled Luke Sworn Show. He was married for the second time to Daniela Vergara, also a Rai journalist. Ibsen Martinez. Unfortunately he died of a heart attack on the night of Wednesday, September 11, 2024, in the city of Caracas, at the age of 72 years old. Journalist Aquilino José Mata confirmed the death of the columnist and novelist in a message published in X. He was born October 20, 1951. He was a columnist, mathematician, journalist, and playwright from Caracas, Venezuela. Ibsen graduated in pure mathematics from Central University of Venezuela. He was best known for Lady, 1988, and Hardware Store Mouse. Since 1995, he has authored a weekly column for The National. His work has been featured in publications such as The New Herald, The New York Times, Free Letters, and The Country. Martinez has also penned several theatrical plays. Martinez also writes soap operas. One of them was, Through These Streets, a television drama, in 1992. However, that career was tarnished at the end of 2023 after he confessed in an interview with the country of Spain that he physically assaulted three women when they were his partners. Kenneth Cope. Another actor died unfortunately, he died on September 11, 2024, at the age of 93 years old. No cause of death was given. Cope was diagnosed with mesothelioma in 2000, but six years later he was told this was a misdiagnosis, he now suffers from chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. He was born April 14, 1931. He was an English actor and screenwriter, widely recognized for his roles as Marty Hopkirk in Randall and Hopkirk, Jed Stone in Coronation Street, Ray Hilton in Brookside, Sid in The Damned, and for his involvement with the Carry On series. Cope began his career in character roles in films during the mid-1950s. From 1961 to 1966, he gained notable recognition for his portrayal of the scheming Jed Stone in Coronation Street, a role he revisited in 2008. In May 1963, he released a single with Tony Hatch on the Pie label, inspired by Mike Sarn, titled Hands Off, Stop Mucking About, backed with Why Am I So Shy. The single, credited to Ken Cope and The Breakaways, did not achieve commercial success but led to a regular disc jockey position with Radio Luxembourg. Cope also appeared in the satirical series That Was the Week That Was from 1962. He portrayed Sabutai in the 1965 film about Genghis Khan and appeared as Lester Benson in Dateline Diamonds that same year. In 1967, he was featured as Tom Savage in the episode The Bird Who Knew Too Much of the Avengers. In 1971, he appeared as Jack Victor in the Catweasel episode The Wogel Stone. By 1975, he had created and written three series of the BBC children's show Striker, which featured the young Kevin Moriton and was inspired by the local youth football team in Islip, Oxfordshire, where his family was residing at the time. His screenwriting credits also include a sharp intake of breath. He appeared in the Doctor Who Story Warriors Gate, 
in 1981, and guest starred in two episodes of Casualty, as well as taking roles in Juliet Bravo, The Bill, Waking the Dead, A Touch of Frost and Kavanaugh QC. In 1995, he appeared with his daughter Martha in an episode of Out of the Blue. Nikolai Svanitz. He passed away in Moscow on September 12, 2024, at the age of 69. Svandis had been struggling with serious health issues, including a recent diagnosis of cerebral ischemia. He was a vocal critic of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, condemning it as an unprovoked attack on the very day Moscow began its offensive in February 2022. He was born April 2, 1955. He was a Russian television and radio presenter, as well as a member of the Public Chamber of Russia. He graduated from the History Department of Moscow State University in 1977. Since 1991, he has been employed by the All-Russia State Television and Radio Company, where he has hosted programs on the Russia TV channel. In 1996, he began authoring and hosting the weekly analytical program Mirror. Both of his grandfathers were executed during Stalin's regime in 1937. In February 1997 he was the chairman of the company, appointed by President Boris Yeltsin. Chad McQueen. Unfortunately another actor died, he died on September 11, 2024, at the age of 63 years old, according to Arthur Behrens, a close associate of McQueen, reported to The Hollywood Reporter that McQueen passed away due to organ failure at his residence in Palm Springs. McQueen had been struggling with complications from an injury he suffered in a fall back in 2020. He was born December 28, 1960. He was an American actor, producer, martial artist, and race car driver, and the only son of actor Steve McQueen. From a young age, McQueen developed a passion for cars, motorcycles, and racing, interests he inherited from his father. By the age of nine, he started racing dirt bikes and quickly made a mark by winning his class at the World Mini Grand Prix within three years. Transitioning to auto racing, he secured his first victory in the Mini Le Mans event, a children's racetrack set up for the 1971 film Le Mans, when he was just 10. During the film's production, McQueen also experienced high-speed racing firsthand, as he often rode on his father's lap in a Porsche 917. At the age of 12, he triumphed again by winning his class at the World Mini Grand Prix. McQueen started his acting career with a notable role as Dutch in The Karate Kid and its sequel, The Karate Kid Part 2. He continued with leading roles in several direct-to-video action films such as Martial Law, Death Ring, and Red Line. In addition to his acting career, he worked as a producer and earned a Telly Award for his documentary Filming at Speed. After stepping away from acting, McQueen made appearances as himself on various television shows related to motorsports, including Hot Rod TV and Celebrity Rides. McQueen's professional racing career began with the Sports Car Club of America. Over the years, he participated in a variety of racing disciplines, ranging from motocross to the Baja 1000. In January 2006, he was seriously injured, suffering a broken lower left leg, two fractures to his vertebrae, and multiple rib fractures, in an accident at the Daytona International Speedway while practicing for the 24 hours of Daytona sports car race. Tina McElroy Ansa. She died on September 10, 2024, at the age of 74. The cause of death has not been determined. She was born November 18, 1949. She was an American novelist, filmmaker, educator, businesswoman, and journalist. Her writings were featured in various publications, including the Los Angeles Times, Newsday, the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, Florida Times Union, Essence, The Crisis, Ms. Magazine, America, and Atlanta Magazine. ANSA's fiction portrays a variety of black women in the recent and modern American South, with a blend of the supernatural and traditional superstition. In March 2007, ANSA launched an independent publishing company, Down South Press, with a focus on African-American literature. Her fifth novel, Taking After Muddier, was the lead title on Down South Press's first list in the fall of 2007. Graham McNeese. He passed away after a short battle with illness on September 12, 2024, at the age of 76 years old. Sydney entrepreneur John Singleton described his close friend as a special man. It's a very sad day, we have lost a beautiful soul, Singleton said. Graham McNeese, was an icon of Australian sports broadcasting and an acclaimed documentary producer. McNeese made significant contributions to Australian media, particularly in the realm of sports broadcasting. 
His career included work with major networks and contributions to popular sports programs, where he became a respected voice in the industry. His work helped shape the coverage of sports events and provided audiences with engaging and comprehensive reporting. McNeese, who was known as Shadow to his friends, began his broadcasting career as a 17-year-old alongside legendary Greyhound caller Frank Kennedy at radio station 2KA. After calling races for nearly a decade, McNeese became a consummate presenter on radio and television. In 1977, McNeese joined Channel 10 where he eventually became the network sports newsreader working alongside another broadcasting icon, Ray Warren. McNeese spearheaded Channel 10's broadcast of the 1984 Los Angeles Olympics. He then joined Sky Channel in 1986 as the executive producer and chief anchor, where he became a prominent figure in racing television for over 20 years. He later expanded his career to include producing documentaries across various topics such as sports, racing, entertainment, and crime. In 2005, he was hired by the newly launched Foxtel Crime Investigation Channel to create a documentary series focusing on true Australian crime, titled Crime Investigation Australia. His passing is a sad day for the Sydney and Australian media who have lost a true legend of sport, racing and broadcasting. Robert Downey Jr. He is born April 4, 1965. He is an American actor whose films in leading roles have collectively earned over $14 billion globally, establishing him as one of the top-grossing actors in history. His career has seen early achievements, followed by a period marked by personal struggles and legal issues, and a notable resurgence in popularity and commercial success since the late 2000s. In 2008, Time magazine recognized him as one of the 100 most influential people in the world. From 2013 to 2015, Forbes ranked him as Hollywood's highest paid actor. At the age of five, he made his acting debut in his father Robert Downey Sr.'s 1970 film Pound. He later appeared in teen films with the Brat Pack, such as Weird Science, 1985, and Less Than Zero, 1987. His performance as Charlie Chaplin in the 1992 biopic Chaplin earned him a BAFTA Award and his first Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. After facing legal troubles and spending time at the Corcoran Substance Abuse Treatment Facility, he joined the cast of the TV series Ally McBeal in 2000 and won a Golden Globe Award for his role. However, he was dismissed from the show in 2001 due to further drug-related issues. He subsequently completed a court-ordered drug treatment program and has remained sober since 2003. Downey made a notable return to acting with the 2003 film The Singing Detective, after Mel Gibson covered his insurance bond, as completion bond companies were unwilling to insure him. He subsequently starred in the dark comedy Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, 2005, the thriller Zodiac, 2007, and the action comedy Tropic Thunder, 2008, the latter of which earned him an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. Downey achieved worldwide fame for his role as Iron Man across 10 films in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, beginning with Iron Man, 2008, and concluding with Avengers Endgame, 2019. He also portrayed Sherlock Holmes in Guy Ritchie's Sherlock Holmes, 2009, which won him his second Golden Globe, and reprised the role in its sequel, Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows, 2011. Downey has also tackled dramatic roles in The Judge, 2014, and Oppenheimer, 2023. His portrayal of Louis Strauss in the latter earned him an Academy Award, a Golden Globe, and a BAFTA Award for Best Supporting Actor. For his performance as multiple characters in the black comedy miniseries The Sympathizer, 2024, he received a Primetime Emmy Award nomination. Additionally, he made his Broadway debut in 2024, taking on the title role in the play McNeil. Downey began his theater career with a debut in 1983 at the Jiva Theater Center in Alms for the Middle Class, which ran for three weeks. He also appeared in the short-lived off-Broadway musical American Passion at the Joyce Theatre, produced by Norman Lear, in 1983. In 1984, Downey was cast in the film Firstborn, where he met and began dating Sarah Jessica Parker. In 1985, he joined the cast of Saturday Night Live as part of a new, younger lineup. Downey has mentioned that Anthony Michael Hall, a friend from the set of Weird Science, helped him secure the audition. However, Downey and most of the new cast members were replaced after a year marked by low ratings and criticism. Rolling Stone magazine later described Downey as the worst SNL cast member ever, 
suggesting that his tenure epitomized both the highs and lows of the show's history. Downey married actress and singer Deborah Falconer on May 29, 1992, after a 42-day courtship. In 2014, Downey has described his religious beliefs as Jewish Buddhist. In the past, Downey has been interested in Christianity and the Hare Krishna movement. Downey has appeared in over 70 films over the course of his career. He was named Hollywood's highest-paid actor by Forbes from 2013 to 2015.